Hi guys, well we're here with the new Mass Effect Andromeda and we're using the Origin Access 10 hour trial and I'm hoping we're going to be uh, checking out some of the settings, uh, in-depth graphics settings as well and try and figure out roughly what settings the consoles are running from that. I've also got access to the Xbox One EA Access so I'll be putting a bit of footage in from that as well so we can sort of give it a bit of a comparison. Now word on the web if you like already uh, a few hours have gone by since this went live is showing some problems with pc configurations there's been some crashes black screens etc so we'll see how i go like i say from previous videos my system now is aging a bit it's fully amd it's uh, fx 8350 at 4.2 16 gigabytes of ram at 1833 and an r9 290x uh, running stock clocks at 4 gigabytes memory. The game is installed on an Intel SSD and Windows 10 Pro is installed on another Intel SSD. So let's have a look. Confirm. So what have we got here? Now I've looked at some of the uh, graphics from this before it was released and I didn't think it looked astonishing by today's standards. You know, there's an awful lot of new games out there and, and some of them really hit it out of the park. But let's see see for ourselves, yeah? So we'll start at the top here. Gameplay settings, what we got? Display tutorials, aim assist, auto level. Auto level will automatically distribute skill points across... Ah, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can be set for rider and or squad mates or just squad mates. We'll leave that disabled. Most people probably would, I would have thought. You'd like to set your own skill points. Mission tracker. Let's have a look. Determines when the mission tracker will display in your hood. Okay. Display conversation icons. Yeah, speaks for itself. Rider's helmet off in conversations. So you can see his face. Yeah. Okay. Squad mate's helmet. Yeah. Subtitles. Yep. Field of view multiplayer. Okie dokie. Didn't expect that one to be in there, but still. Uh, controls. This is going to be standard. Yeah. Mouse sensitivities, invert accessors. Yeah. Key bindings. Okay. Audio. Music volume. Decrease. Now I can hear myself think. Right. What we got? Dynamic range medium. Narrow. Night mode. Okay, this is something fairly new. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, oh, wide cinema. Okay. Okay, so... Seeing as I'm currently on a headset, I guess medium must be the default. We'll change that when we're not on headset then. Speaker configuration. Stereo, surround. Yeah, but what surround? 5.1, 7.1? Which version? DTS? Mm, okay, we'll see. We'll try and figure out which surround that is exactly. We'll run it on a on a system and try and find out. Uh, master volume, yeah, that speaks for itself, doesn't it, really? Sound effects volume, dialogue volume, yeah. Oh, we've got another one down here. Subtitles again, okay. Back, yes, supply. Language, yeah, speaks for itself, doesn't it, really? Whichever language you need it to be. Uh, what options are in there actually? So look, audio. Oh, just English. French, Dutch, Spanish, Italian. That's all of them. Better put that back. Okay. No, go away. Right. Video output. Now we start to get to the good ones. We got full screen display, windowed here, yeah, borderless, and. Windowed, yep, yeah, that's what you'd expect really, the normal three. Which display, so if you're running multi-displays, you're okay there. Uh, I wonder if this actually works properly on ultra-wide. From what I've read, it does. I can't test that at the moment, I haven't got an ultra-wide display yet. Nice that it's showing you a little GPU memory at the side. Hopefully, it'll tell us how much of that it's using. HDR mode as well. Okay, I'll give that a try, um, and after to update this video, I can connect it into a, a HDR display and see how it runs. For now, I'm just running it on the uh, basic, if you like, monitor. 
that I do all my editing on, which is nothing fancy. VC on and off. Hmm. As much as it's nice it is to keep this on, I've been told that turning this off will stop the wild frame rate fluctuations that some people are experiencing, even with cards as high as 1080s, GTX 1080s. We'll turn it off, although <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. High dynamic range, auto detect and off. Okay. Triple buffering on and off. We set to on as default there. Frame buffer format. Compressed and half 16. Well, was default to compress, so we'll leave that. Yes, okay. So, graphics. The big one. Screen calibration. Brightness level, in other words. Posh word for brightness. Safe zone. Yeah, that's bang on already. Film grain. Yuck. You know that sort of fuzzy speckly mess that goes across the screen to make it look real? Don't like it. I always turn it off. You guys might not want to do that. We'll see. Another nasty one. Chromatic abbreviation. Oh god, I really hate this. You know that sort of bluey yellow tinge it puts to the edge of everything? It's not my cup of tea. Again, each to their own, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I'll turn that off for my, uh, my preference. Overall quality. Auto detect. Nah. Not many people with a PC leave it on auto detect. So we've got default low, medium, high, ultra, custom. Custom. So, what we got? What we got? Resolution scale mode. Yes, yeah, it's coming in most modern games nowadays, isn't it? Auto 1080p. Well, seeing as I don't know how my graphics card or my CPU is going to fare with this, we'll leave it on auto until we get a benchmark of how we're doing resolution scale we're on 1.0 yeah okay that's standard we'll keep that there rather than up it to uh try and make things look nice we don't know how it looks yet texture quality high okay i take it ultra's pushing it then i think we'll start out really high we'll put everything to the top and see how see how it sort of copes or doesn't cope be nice if like on some of the ubisoft games it shows you your vram being used as you adjust these but i can't see that at the moment temporalizing uh temporal aa rather oh, we're on the max there what we got fxaa and off is that it wow okay ambient occlusion so what's the setting we got full HP AO full and HP AO, SS AO, and off. Okay. Leave that one. Post process quality high. Ultra, medium and low. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, medium and low. So we'll bang that on ultra. It seems my card has been detected as running everything at high. So. Um, does that give you a 60 frames per second now at high? Guess we'll find out. Texture filtering again, ultra, high, medium, low. Let's go knock two at one. Lighting quality always a big hit for FPS, isn't it? This one again, yeah, all standard low, low medium, high, ultra. And shadow quality, same again. And what we'll do, we'll go back and see which one of these has the most impact. And we'll also try some of the presets as well. And see how it affects. We'll have an OSD running, an MSI display running to see. Effects quality. Same again. Yeah, medium. Okay, low, medium, high, ultra. Stick that on ultra. If I could get this on ultra at a solid 30 frames per second, that's what I would personally do. Um, by all accounts, this plays better on controller than keyboard mouse, which me screams console, even though the developers have said it is a full-on PC version, you know, not a port. But, yeah, I'll, I'll go with uh, controller and see how we go. Mesh quality, ultra, high, medium, low, yeah. Okay, we'll go to ultra again. This is going to tank, isn't it? 
Shade quality. Ah. Shade quality high. Okay. Low. Oh, that's it. Low and high. Okay. Terrain quality. Ultra. High, medium, low. We'll go to ultra. There's quite a lot of options here. Again, vegetation quality. Ultra, high, medium, low. Yeah. On again. Ah, oh, we're at the bottom. Okay. Apply. Yes. You must restart the game. Oh, I hate that. You know, when you've got to restart just to tweak something. <sighs> okay, so we are now in game, and it would appear you can seamlessly swap from controller to keyboard. Uh, we're back in the cinematic. Wow. Come on, can we play this? Not had any crashes or anything yet. Which is good. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. Come but on. Up. Feels like centuries, centuries. This isn't a game. This is a cinematic story. Impatient. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. Now we play. Yes, now we play. Okay, so 55 frames per second, 58, bit of a stutter there, it's still loading. Oh, hang on, 41. Not too bad. Not too bad. CPU's not really being taxed between 40 and 60 percent on all cores frame rate as low as 42 oh, a bit lower there 36 38 nothing game breaking yeah, seems okay unless we get to a planet so let's skip ahead to a planet okay so we've left the ship um, I noticed VRAM has topped out up to now at 3.8 gigabytes, so I'm afraid you GTX 970 users are going to have to drop stuff down. Otherwise, you're going to get some stuttering. FPS still somewhere in the 40s, 50s all the time. Screen tear is horrendous, as you can see. Wiggling that around, I'm going to have to put VSync on and see what happens. FPS going up to 70, 80 at times. Seems to be all over the place, so we need a way of locking it down. Okay, we'll be landing on the planet in a minute, hoping to see how it copes with the bigger open world. Micro stutters must be loading. Nothing is maxed out. GPU is nearly maxed out. It's at the top, 96, 97%. CPU, no. No big deal. Let's get out of this shuttle and have a look around. The amount of cinematics already has been amazing. I think is the word I'd use. Yeah, it's Pandora. Floating rocks. Can we skip this? No, we can't skip. We can zoom. Oh, now we're landing. In a rush. More cinematic. Acceleration increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Stand up! Hmm. 
Oh, you broke your suit. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Repairing your own helmet. So... Ground textures and stuff. Oh, his helmet looks a bit weird there, the visor. Some weird doff going on. Finally on planet. Okay. Let's move around a bit. Oh, God, this game. Don't I stop you a lot? Can we play? Do do do. You might want to go and uh, put the kettle on at this point. <sighs> Cinematic number ninety-seven. I'm sure some of you love the uh, the story elements. <laughs> Strange looking planet. Okay, we finally get to play. It's quite a detailed world. Ooh, 34 FPS, 37. VRAM, nearly 3.7 gigabytes. Ooh, don't want to do that. Oh, okay. And the screen tearing, of which we're going to need a restart to uh, to cure this. Can we run without it stuttering? Yes, we can. Okay, 37 FPS, 38. Let's have a look hard over the yonder. Oh, we're going to get electrocuted now. Should be fun. What I'll do next is turn it down to... I'll go to the other extreme and put it on low. See how much VRAM we're using. See if the 2 gigabyte card users will be uh, okay with it. So what I'll do, I'll save it on this section. I think it's just auto-saved, actually. Ultra does look quite nice. If you can cope with your frame rate going between sort of 35 and... 70. Yeah, it's okay. Right, now we'll adjust to low. This is low setting. This is the preset low. Nothing adjusted, everything on low. Now we've got, what, 120 frames a second there, and VRAM 1.2 gigabytes, so yeah, this is uh, this is pretty easy to run, this low setting. You know what? I expected it to look worse. Okay, your ground textures and stuff look a bit sort of Xbox 360, but it doesn't look bad. Not really. Not bad at all. Just look out over the uh, horizon there. Draw distance is clearly chopped, as you would expect. I mean, if we go into everything, there we go, uh, graphics. As you can see there, we're on low. Uh, so we've gone 720p. Yeah, low, off, off, low, 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 low. Everything low. So that's as low as you can go. Which is uh, useful. Uh, the VRAM it's using, you know, any 2 gigabyte card will not struggle at all. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad. Certainly playable, you know. Okay, now we'll switch uh, switch up to high. Uh, sorry, medium. We'll do medium because obviously we're on low, so we'll move up to medium now. Yeah, it has popped a few things up. Look, uh, everything was off prior. So we've got some anti aliasing and stuff. Medium, medium. Yeah, all the way. Oh, low. Interesting. Shader quality on low. Fair enough. Are we on 1080? No, we're on 900, I said, didn't I? Okay. Frame rate is hovering around 
79.79 at the moment. Hmm. That screen tearing really must, really must put V-Sync on. Yeah, 70s, 80s FPS. Okay. Let's move on to high settings. Alright, default high, which instantly gives us a, a 1080p P image. I can tell just by looking at it, it's uh, nice and crisp. Frame rate has now tanked to uh, pretty much what Ultra was. We're on 50s frames per second. Does look very nice. Um, the difference between this and Ultra can't be a lot. 60 FPS, 50 FPS. VRAM 2.7 gigabytes just over. Um, this game on well on an eight core CPU like this is certainly not CPU limited. Um, at 1080p, I'd say I am personally GPU limited because we are hitting 100% from time to time. Yep, that's acceptable. You could play at that. That's fine with VSync on. Let's uh, punch it up to Ultra and see how we go again. But at 1440p, well, with these settings, this is full Ultra, um, but with the resolution scale at 1.5. Okay, so we are very near in this cave at below my VRAM. So we're on 3.8 gigabytes and FPS, ooh, 23. Yeah, we couldn't play it like this. <laughs> nice looking, but nah, far too slow. Let's get outside and see how we do. We're about to take a look into the distance. No, this is definitely too slow. You would not want to play it like this. What I'm going to do now, I mean, actually, what I will do is just show you the settings that I've, that I've just put on, which is clearly too much for my card. Yeah. Again, uh, graphics card limited rather than CPU. So we've got custom. Yeah. Uh, there's your resolution scale that I was on about 1.5. And everything else is as high as it can go. I think there was plus. Yeah, there's that. But everything is maxed what i will do now is um adjust everything to a nice metric now by that i mean either a very nice looking 30 frames per second and it's you know rock solid or a 60 frames per second game that uh, still looks you know pretty good and we'll see if we can get v-sync turned on at last so let's let's see how we go with that one. well at the moment i've gone for 1440p um, I've got a lock 30 frames per second, so sort of console experience, but with pretty much everything set on ultra. Uh, there's a couple of bits not down, which I will show you. Just have a quick run around here. It is holding 30, which is nice. Yeah, we're holding 30 nicely at 1440p. Settings are. Let's have a look. There we go. So, video output. There you go. 1440. V-Sync on now. Um, obviously, HDR not on. Not on this monitor. Or this graphics card, for that matter. Triple buffering off. Here's what I've had to set that to. Compressor, few frame buffer format. Graphics. Custom uh, scale mode, 1080p auto, you know. Let's have a look. Uh, ultra, temporal AA, SSAO, high, ultra. Yeah, I'll dro drop that one down to high just to make sure it held the 30. Shadows high. Again, just keeping an eye on the, uh, on the VRAM usage there because at this res, it's pretty high. We're on 3.9 gigabytes of VRAM. Just quite a lot. You guys with your six or eight gigabyte cards won't really have to worry. But yeah, I'd say that concludes my my video for the day. I shall now uh, play through my ten hours and debate whether we should get this on uh, PC 
or console who knows thank you very much for watching please click like on your way out if this was any help at all goodbye